Hello everyone, TNG here, back with my Gunpoint playthrough with the episode 9. Alrighty, so we've got no cash to speak of, no upgrades available, so we have to choose a mission. Ooh, $500, nice. So, guess what? Acquisitions, ready? It's time. Accept that, and see what we've got to do. Okay, you ought to know where you're going, but I'll say it anyway. TX verification, Lyle Street, Steel Rook's prototype. Oh, he's already disconnected. Uh, leave no living witnesses. Okay. Hmm. I don't really like that. I'm going to avoid killing people, so it would be best to avoid being witnessed. Uh, Gessler, CEO of Rook's rival Intex, hired me to find the location of Rook's secret prototype. Rook tells me there isn't one, and hired me to steal a fake so she can track it to the Intex labs. Alright, start mission. Alright. Uh, Black suits, professionals, professionals will shoot if at gunpoint, they can also see in the dark. Why not? All right, so turning the lights off with a professional is pointless. Only way in is seemingly through the top. Guard is locked behind doors, so he can't see me. Okay. Um, Wanna get that wire jack there, don't have access to it. There's a guard. Oh, what the hell? Huh, that was weird. My controls act up for some reason. All right, reload that save point. And if I hop down there, that probably counts as a witness. Can I actually... So, make, does making this sound actually... No, it doesn't actually attract attention. Interesting. Good to see. Alright, so we've got access to a single light switch. Why is it pausing... What is wrong with this? The alt key seems to be messing with the game. Huh. Okay. I might need to uh, actually change that control binding real quick if that's possible. Yeah, it's, it's pausing the game for me, or at least it's deselecting the window. That's weird. Alright, we'll be right back, everyone. And we're back. Okay, so you can't actually rebind the alt key, but you can use the mouse wheel to, to activate crosslink mode using like this. Unfortunately for some... Oh, you scroll using like that. Right. Okay, so it's a slightly different control scheme that I have to get used to. Wonderful. Right, um, let's activate the wheel and see what we have access to. Okay, we have we want to get to that stairwell to get to here, obviously. To do that, I can't activate the door. I can't even turn the light off. Okay. I could use their gun to turn the light off, possibly? Huh. What have we got access to? Right. I can't actually really do anything unless I use their guns. Is that a requirement for this mission? That's interesting. Oh, I can use the elevator, of course. And then I can go all the way downstairs. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, let's head down. Because, you know, the guards can't see you inside the elevator, like a boss. Okay, so we've got access to a light switch. That's what... Uh, and I press the alt key again. I really hope that doesn't mess with the recording. Okay, mouse wheel, Tim. Mouse wheel. Alright. We've got a guard. That's the specialist. Obviously not good to have. Um, I don't want to kill anyone. I, I might have already done that, though, using the guns. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> oh, well. Maybe next place we'll do a no-death run. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's the lift, which I can use to activate the door if I want. I'd probably be best to turn the light switch off. He doesn't have access to a light switch, and he can see in the dark anyway, so he probably wouldn't choose to activate a light regardless. I do have access to this, which I could use to turn off this guard's lights. Now, will that actually interest him with him being outside or not? Doesn't interest him. Okay. Um, I could probably, no, so that wouldn't do nothing. I've really got, I could get access to, say, the yellow wire here or something. I need to wire jack some, somehow I need to get a wire jack. So, I mean, I could probably just hush crack inside that window there. That might be the best option I've got. I'm going to go do that. Just go straight up. I should have done that from the very start. I, I don't know, though. Oh, hang on. He heard the elevator. Whoops. Bit of a mistake. Oh, and he's turned around completely. Oh, ain't that just peachy? Okay. So he's a witness, and he must die. You will die. You will die. 
and you will die, and you will die. There's no achievement for this? What? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. There's <laughs> an achievement unlock. Alright, just have one. Just stop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. I won't lie. Oh, that didn't count. Oh, you have to charge it up. That's right. I forget about that. Okay. So you are in fact an enforcer. So I can't mess with you. Okay. So yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I want to legit kill someone on this playthrough though. So I might actually abort mission and start again. I know it's scumbaggy, but I've got the achievement now. So I don't need to kill anyone. And I want to try and avoid it on this playthrough. So let's abort this mission and get that wide jack from the get-go. Alright, we'll be back. I don't know. Unless you can just abort it like this, can't I? I can too. Cool. Let's do the mission. Alright, accept... Start mission. There we go. That works fine and dandy. And at least this way I'm a little bit faster through this mission as well. So I'm just going to try and drop down right here. Oh, I got caught. Alrighty, and we're back. Sorry about a small interruption there, everyone. So we're going to continue from the start, like I said. And we're going to jump down here. They're going to be careful not to be noticed by that guard. So you just got to walk off the edge. No, he still noticed me. That's weird. I wonder why... Oh, unless I actually have to jump off using the pans. Is that... No, I didn't do that. There's no way I did that. I can hush crack, though. Wow, that worked out perfectly. And funnily enough, it actually did work. Who would have thought? Alright, let's hush crack through the window. Or not. Let's hush crack through the window. Or not. Let's hush crack through the window. Good boy. Why, Jack? Get inside. Okay. And I pressed the Alt key again. I love pressing the Alt key. Okay, so we've got access to some green stuff now. That's good. Um, I want to get to the yellow jack. I need to get rid of this guard. How do I get rid of him? I want to open that door and press the Y jack. So I want this guard to turn around by heading down here and using the lift. Okay. Will that actually work? Also, if I use the lift to go back up, the other guard's going to notice me. Okay, so he's turned around. That's good. Now I need to somehow activate this red door, which is actually surprisingly easy. Let's use that. Okay, door's open. Door's closed. Door's open. Door's closed. Let's disconnect this. Okay, now I need to get up here without alerting that guard. Hmm probably not going to happen unless I do this. Haha. -ha. Wait a second. No, I do need to alert that guard. So I need to actually go back up. I'll wait for this enforcer and turn him around so I can jump over him. Hmm. Something tells me that's not going to go as planned. We'll see in a moment. We'll see in a moment. Right. I just want to try it. So basically, we've got to jump up here and we've got to jump over the guard. Is this going to work? Okay, let's hush crack just so he doesn't notice me. Good. Worked out just fine. Why a jack? Let's get on the side of the building so that specialist in case he turns around. All right, so we've got access to yellow now. Okay, turn the alarm off. Obviously. I want this here to open this door. Doing that will allow me to access the prototype. Where is the laptop in this mission? Right there. Okay, to get to the laptop, I need to open this door as well. Hmm. Which could be difficult with an enforcer here. Okay. I could easily hook this up. Uh, wait, what type of door is that? A locked door. Okay. So I could easily just turn the light off. Couldn't I? Yeah. Okay, let's go do that. So I need to get back inside the building though, which means this guard's going to be a bit of a problem. Honestly, don't really worry about client ratings. I'm just going to punch them and knock them out, you know? Um, so we can head... Wait... 
Oh, it did actually activate. That's a shame. All right, so I'm going to have to wait for the guard to walk past. I don't know. Maybe you can use the elevator while they're still there. We'll see in a moment. I completely did not phase him at, at all. That's uh, surprising. I completely screwed that one up, didn't I? Wow. All right, well, let's head back upstairs then, and then back downstairs. I'm very thoughtful, aren't I? Okay, see? So oh, the door scared him. Good, he's moving again. I was worried there for a second, I really was. Now I need to run past him, hack the laptop. Okay. Kelly Acklin to Fritz Gessler. Re quit it. Agent 4 knocked unconscious when one of my techs wired the front door to open it in his face. Agent 5 fell down a six story shaft in our drop shot testing grounds. Agent 6, Agent 6 shot. We just shot him, Fritz. Agent 7. Gatecrasher test subject kicked a door into him. You get it yet? I've known Melanie Rook longer than you, so I hope you'll take some advice. If you think you know her next move, you're looking at the wrong game. Kelly Ackland. Alright. Let's head upstairs. Okay, so we got that sorted. Now, this guard, seemingly... Do I have to... Oh, the... Right, it doesn't actually activate for the guard. It has... It has to activate for me. That's a problem. Mmm, I should have locked him in there. That would have been good. He's gonna patrol again. Okay. Can I just stalk him real quick? Sure can. There we go. I mean, I could have locked him in the room with the, where the laptop used to be, but meh. All right, let's hack this. Cool. We got the prototype, and now we can just exit safely. All right. So we got a witness. I don't really care about Gessler, honestly. Uh, Non-lethal, good. Witnesses, one, thoughtful. Still an A rating, not too bad yet. Not too shabby. All right, let's continue. Um, you get it? Yep, but there's something you should know about it. Ooh, okay. Now this time around, I'm gonna side with uh, Rook. So we'll go with that. Next time, maybe I'll side with Gessler. Fucking Fantastico. Fantastico. Yeah, that was right. Get off at Central, switch bags with the guy on the far bench. The cash is his is in his. Gessler has disconnected. And cool. Alrighty. So Rook, the trace. We've got a trace, let's see where it takes us. We've got money, we've got upgrades. Power capacity. Shop. Hmm. I can do more batteries. Could miss some shots. Land silently from any height. That seems to be something that I'm needing a lot more of. So we'll do that. Okay, mission. All right, so we can uh, continue with this mission, but I think for now, hmm, 13 minute episode. I really don't want to end it here. Maybe what we can do, did I try out the Hushcracker Prank Spasm long shot? I would have tried them all out. Hmm. Nothing I can really do. Shame. Oh, well, might as well just buy another two batteries while I'm at it. Because why not? Well, a little bit of a short episode this time around, everyone. Sorry about that. But I definitely can't finish another mission in this one this one episode. And I don't want to finish um, finish an episode halfway through a mission. That's I just, I just don't like that. So until next time, everyone. It's been Gio and Tinji with episode 9 of my Gunpoint playthrough. I hope you all enjoyed watching. And have a good day. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and post a comment below to tell me how I can improve. And feel free to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. <laughs>